it's breakfast time in David's hotel. Ooh. I'm not gonna show you more because I gotta eat. And those prayers were amazing. This is like, this is like but yeah, we're driving through Natanya right now. Yeah. And there's trees on the side with ornamental oranges and it's so beautiful. It's much warmer than I expected right now. They said to pray for rain though because they really need rain right now. So our group was like, we pray it rains at night. <laughs> These are Roman statues, and then this one is for Christianity time period. Caesarea Maritima. We're entering the theater. Through the tunnel. Dun, dun, dun. Theater at Caesarea Maritima. Wow. Mightier than the waves of the sea is his great love for you. King Herod the Great, he made this area come alive and made it so ships could port out here and made a theater and a palace. Mightier than the ways of the sea is his great love for you. I'm at Caesarea Maritima. Wow. This is where the palace was and a swimming pool. <laughs> where the pools were, they also, in the Byzantine era, they turned it into a place where it was like a fish market, so they keep the fresh fish. This area is where Paul was also a prisoner and also where Cornelius became a Christian. Yeah. Bathrooms right here. Just have a little sit. Nice. We're in the Hippodrome, ready to ride some chariots round and round. Right with the beautiful Mediterranean Sea over here and lots of places for people to sit. All around. Whoa. Got some nice stables for horses. And then there would have been a palace up over there too. Got some surfers heading out. And of course, I keep thinking of that verse. Mightier than the waves of the sea is his great love for you. Hey kitty. Posing for a shot. Off in the distance is Mount Carmel and they had aqueducts that would run for uh, eight kilometers that would carry water from down from the mountain. And then over here, this is where they had the port. King Herod had built a port coming in here and then all the way up to further in and then he had built a temple for Augustus. A lot of this is newer stuff, like about a hundred years old or so, um, but when Paul came in here he would have come in on ships traveling to and fro right here and he would have left here as a prisoner. Surfing in the Mediterranean. This would have been a fountain. This used to be a Byzantine church and then Crusader church. Or foot walking. We're heading to the place where the Crusades had built a moat and a wall. There's mustard seed. Oh. Wow. That's all the faith we need. If you have the faith of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. Crusades. Crusades. Whatever is seen, the false light, you see, all of these false. Oh. This is a crusade. Nice. Crusade. 
So this would have been part of their wall? This is the so city, gate. city gate. City gate, so nice. Yeah, this is an you know, old, used to be the like Whoa, that would have been the wall, and then there's the moat. Look at that. That's sweet. If you look to the right, from this window here to the right, you can see, you know, the church to the right, the Annunciation. Look at that to the right, way down, look at that. <laughs> Pretty big Christmas tree. We're walking into Mary's Well. I Wow, after a busy day, we are at the Magdala Hotel. There's my roommate, having some fun. <laughs> Here we are, Hotel Magdala. And we're going in our room and it's dark. Here we are. We had to use a key to turn on our light, people. Whoa, look at all this storage space. Nice, we're here for three nights. Ooh, this bathroom is so fun. Ooh, and a shower. Head to toe shower, good thing. We get showered from head to toe. Ooh! I just saw myself in the mirror. <laughs> and there's our room. Everything they need. 